You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever conceived a hollow-born child? An infant born without a soul, of course. Lord Radric has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. His lordship's wife is with child and do any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an Animancer. However, the only Animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. Keep out of... Listen! Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You... Were you looking for someone in that tree? Uh, I could introduce you. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Go on. 
Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fine, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cock's feather! I'll cut that barrel-looking tongue out of your head. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We... That's where you're wrong. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Though your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Aloth Corvisser, at your service. Well, I'm a wizard by training, and... An adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire, and both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, and how exactly did you come to be here? In Gwythan Ruins? Oh, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious, what exactly did you find there? And you survived? I've heard such a thing was impossible. But it seems you either have a knack for timing or the favor of the gods. An excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. Indeed. In that case, welcome to Gilded Vale, a true refuge from civilization. I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. Begging your pardon, but neither do you. Yet, circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. Excellent. I shall find... Eh? 